Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and today has been a tiring, exciting, <laughs> and special, special day. Yeah. Today is the day of Grace's first surgery. Mm -hmm. She, um, I'll let you tell all about it. Okay. Uh, but this is the first of many. Oh, yes, yes. And many, but mm -hmm. first. First. So today, Grace received her uh, device that is her, it's called a Baja implant. It's a bone anchored. Sorry, sorry. They may not know that she's pretty much deaf in one ear. Okay, Grace has for a very long time, she's had probably five sets of tubes, ear tubes, um, because of the way that her um, head is shaped. Uh, her tubes in her ears do not drain properly. So she's had several sets of ear tubes. Um, and I know there's a technical term for them, but I cannot remember that for the life of me. Worms, um, worms in their tubes. <laughs> that was from The Hobbit. <laughs> um, so she... Where was I going? Did I just throw you? You totally threw me. Sorry. So, okay. She's getting a, because, she's got a, no, no, getting no, a Baja. No, 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 back up. Okay, you got this. I got this. You got this. So, with those five sets of tubes, she has extensive damage to her eardrums where one of them actually has a permanent hole in it. So, she loses a lot of hearing in that ear. Um, and then she has a lot of damage from those tubes in her other ear. So, she has a decreased level of hearing. So we tried, we did a trial run for the Baja implant, which again is bone anchored hearing aid. And it is just a device that goes under the skin into the skull back here behind her ear. And then there's a magnet that snaps onto it out here, not snaps, it just is a magnet on there. Um, and that is the hearing aid. And she has darn near perfect hearing back here. So we'll be able well, to... Well, and the reason why we know this mm -hmm. is because they did like a test run. Yeah, I said we did a trial run. Oh, okay, I'm yeah. sorry. Sorry, I was seeing, I'm what seeing that this? Jessica's getting he ready to walk listening. in. So no. This is what happens. No. He doesn't listen when no. I'm talking. Jessica's getting ready to drive I mean, up here and she doesn't okay. know we're doing this. So, we so hurry we're, up. We'll, No, we'll just say hi. <laughs> we'll just keep rolling. We'll say right, hi. right. I was trying to help baby. Right. Trying to help. No, it's all good. So we did the trial and it worked really well blah, 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 really, really well. Um, where she could she could hear darn near perfect. So Well, so here's Grace and then we'll come back and we'll let you mm -hmm. well we'll let you in on some other stuff. All right, so here is the young lady of the hour. How you feeling, sweetie? How okay, good better from earlier. They they made you they put you under the the crazy drugs didn't they they made you feel loopy, not so bad. I was a bit loopy at first. Now it's a little loopy. Okay, we well, gotta get feeling better, all right, sister. Okay. All right. So yeah, she's a trooper, mm -hmm. um, but you know it's the first of many yep. many surgeries, yep. um, and that. The hearing thing is great, um, especially, well, especially with the whole COVID thing going on. It, it was originally scheduled, and then when all of the uncertainty happened, they, they cut it. They right. didn't, they cut it, and I am just honestly shocked that they did book it back again. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad because, it, you know, it's, it's really going to help her, you know, in her day-to-day -day life, you know. Our house is big, so we need to get her attention from somewhere else and, you know, having to hunt down, hunt her down to well, find her. Oh. Now the problem is going to be uh, Grace is not going to be able to act like she didn't hear us right? when we ask her to do something. <laughs> she cooked She's your goose. <laughs> Cook your goose, sister. We've already told him that, you know, told her, now you can't pretend. Nope, nope. You heard us. But oh, now no. um, the, uh, the next set of uh, surgeries and procedures is gonna be interesting because mm -hmm. she was born um, a miracle, mm -hmm. a pound and 15 ounces. Yeah. And she was born with cerebral palsy and mm -hmm. a bunch of bone issues. Structuring, yep. yeah. And she still eats with a G-tube because of the bone issues. Mm -hmm. She can't swallow or else she aspirates her food and then we end up taking her to the hospital for pneumonia. Right, well, so. Especially right now, not such a good no, thing. Not a good thing. 
So um, they're going to actually do a palate extension. They're, that's the yeah, next that's thing. The next thing is a palatal expander. Oh, no, no, um, no. They got to do the surgery first. Well, yes. They So they have to do a gingivectomy. And you can look that up, but no, no it's they, what it is. They is they have ginger to, up no, in the, no, no, no. You've heard of gingivitis. It's it's similar, but not. Um, it's where if you have too much gum in your mouth, not the chewing gum, but too many gums <laughs> in your gum. mouth, they actually have to cut it back. So that's going to be uh, quite painful um, for her. Oof. Yeah. Um, so she's that's, tough, though. She's a trooper. Yeah, that's the next step, and then because they have to expose her teeth to be able to do the palatal expander, palatal. palatal so their their hope, their hope is that they can just slowly, over the course of a year or two, widen, widen and form her mouth in the way that it's supposed to. Because her her rooftop of her is, is triangular instead of like curved, like normal. Right. Folks. She has a. It looks like there's a tube. In there because she was intubated for two months after there was she a was tube. born. There was a tube. Um, so then after they do the palatal expander, they'll do that for a couple of years. Um, after that, then they will adjust her. They'll do her jaw surgery um, because your jaw should be at a 90 degrees where hers is not. Yeah. So that will help with her open bite and to fix everything. Yep. And so for those of you who are praying folks out there, we really, really do ask your prayers and appreciate them mm -hmm. for grace. Yeah. For those of you who are not praying people, we do like, hope and, and ask for your well wishes and, and good, good vibrations. <laughs> Cause I'm picking up. No, no. She's like, I, no. I can't take you anywhere. Well, no. the problem is we're at home. So, right. So you can take me somewhere, because we're here. <laughs> Wherever you go, there you are. That's right. Right? That is right. Okay, so there's there's the update, guys. Um, again, thank you for uh, mm -hmm. prayers and vibes. Well, wish, well wishes. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, um, that's it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.